Hi everyone! Happy Sunday! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry, I have been a little MIA <laughs> this week on um, Instagram and uh, YouTube, but it was my first full week uh, back to work after being um, laid off for three months <laughs> for the beginning of the COVID crisis. So it just took me a couple days to adjust, um, you know, getting used to working 10 or 12 hour days again. Um, and then trying to find balance and a good plan for the summer in terms of like video ideas and um, you know f a good consistent filming schedule for you guys and that sort of thing. So thank you for your patience. Um, I really really appreciate it. And uh, as I you know slowly start figuring this whole thing out and. Um, so uh, today I am actually going to be doing a sticker haul from one of my favorite shops, Glam Planner. And um, the kits that I'm going to be going over today are the kits that I got for this summer. Um, I typically do order like a whole bunch of them at a time um, just because number one, I do typically plan about three months out. and. Um, there's also a lot of shipping delays right now. So I find that with a lot of the US shops, I'm ordering things at least about a month and a half to two months in advance, um, which means that I ordered these probably, what is it now, it's in July, like May sometime. And um, I finally got them, so I'm very, very excited. And um, yeah, so let's get into them. So the first, uh, let me just take the plastic off so that you guys can actually see what I've got. So, there we go. So, I got a whole bunch of things. Let me just, I'll just group it, I guess, into kind of what makes sense, I guess, in terms of, like, collections. Okay. So, um, the first thing that I got were these uh, rose gold overlay, half box, or sorry, quarter box and half box overlays. So these are actually transparent and you actually put them over other boxes and just add some shine. Um, I also got them in the silver as well. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's gorgeous. I cannot wait to put these in some of my kits and just jazz them up a little bit. So much fun. So that's the first thing that I got. I also got a couple of glitter headers. Um, so there's like a dark green, a lighter green, and then coral and pink. And these are going to be nice for some of my summer kits. And then I also got these as well. This one is baby pink, gold, turquoise, and like a lilac -y silver. So beautiful. Um, and then I got some of my teeny uh, and friends. So these ones, oh, these are so beautiful. I'm so excited to get these. I don't know if you can. So these are, this is called Happy Mail. And as you can see, there's like some little packages in like yellow, pink, blue. And then these are like for her, um, basically what her thing comes in. I just did a really <laughs> poor job and like ripped it all off. But it did look like this one here with a little sticker that said Glam Planner on it. Um, so these are really cute to mark, you know, anytime you have some Happy Mail coming in. Um, sometimes I use a couple of these a week. I'm a little bit addicted to stickers, if you haven't been able to tell already. So with this one, when you order it, it comes with two. Um, so it gives you quite a few sheets. And then I also got my first Bippity and Boo. Um, as some of you might already know already, my favorite uh, teeny and friend character is Lolly and Pop. But I also, I mean, I have brown hair, so this one actually probably looks the most accurate to me. So I didn't mind getting this one. I think she's super cute too. Um, but I did get this one for, again, in advance for September, um, going into school, however that's going to look like, um, in case I have to do more homeschooling. <laughs> this is what I'm going to be using. Um, and then I also got some more Kisma and Az because she is also adorable. There's so much <laughs> attitude in this. I love it so much. She's just sitting there with her sunglasses on, chilling and sipping some tea. And that is actually what this one is called. And then I also love to read. I With work, I'm going to have to balance it, but usually I try to read 
um, a book a week or maybe every two weeks depending on what I'm reading, how long it is and how much time I have. So I got one of her reading. Um, this one makes me really emotional. This one is Lolly and Pop Hugging Mom. Um, and I know a lot of you have probably been separated from your families during this time. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> and uh, so I kind of got this one. I thought this was amazing. She also has one called uh, Hugging Dad, which I also got. I miss my parents so much. Um, we haven't really been able to see them, obviously, with everything going on. And so this is going to, I'm saving this for that special day when we are allowed to see them and get close to them and give them a hug. So this is in advance and very hopeful that hopefully that will be sometime soon. <laughs> Um, moving on, this one is uh, when your pet has to go to the vet. So there's Lolly, looking like any worried pet owner at the vet. And she is, her little um, unicorn pop is sitting on the table. And then, <laughs> this is a fun one, I like this one. This is Lolly and Pop eating pizza. <laughs> And that's, and we do do that sometimes. We get some pizza with the kids and it's kind of fun. Also, you know, we are careful with it, with what we touch and washing our hands and everything like that. But, you know, we also believe in supporting the local communities and um, shops. This one is, uh, nope, <laughs> exhausted. This is kind of how I felt yesterday at the end of a very long work week. So that is good if you're having a hard day, hard week, you're just tired and you're over it. Um, this is Lolly and Pop playing games. Uh, we used to have a monthly game night with our best friends. Obviously, that hasn't also happened in the past three months, but for when we are allowed to start doing that again, I have got this to celebrate that. And then, again, another thing, very hopeful. <laughs> I don't know when it's going to be that we're allowed to do all these things, but this is Lolly packing her suitcase, and it's a travel kind of theme sticker. So we love to travel one day will be able to use this. So those are my newest um, teenage friends. And also I did a post on Instagram, but I'll show you guys as well on here. Just haven't done it in a video. So I got these at um, Walmart. I, no, actually I think I got these at Dollarama to be honest. Yeah, and they're a really good size, um, good quality. This was just some stickers that I added on here. So I did this myself, Lolly and Pop. And then this is, um, I got these from Glam Planner last time. And she has these in her shop. Oh, I forget what they're called. I will link it down below. I'll find the name and link it down below. But it's to, she has a section in her shop for organization. Um, and then she's got some things for binders. And then this is how I store um my stickers so i have here for birthday i have with her with the balloon bath day um like these are the ones i already have and i have computer cleaning i have a couple of different ones in here like laundry trash day uh, date night emotions i kind of pre-stuck some of the ones that i knew were coming working out groceries happy mail now i can add this little um where did he go my little happy mailer I can add that in there as well so I'm going to be putting those in there and then I also have one for uh, kiss fun ass so this one's for lolly and pop um, this one is for oh, sorry kisma and ah, she gets her own folder because I'm going to be ordering quite a few of these as well that's what I have from her so far <laughs> um, so I have face palm and um, anxiety, which I've been feeling quite a bit <laughs> through this COVID crisis here and there. I'm sure you guys have as well. And then um, there's a little rain cloud one that I put as sad. And then reading, because I knew my reading one was coming, and the tea. And I also have the one with the shot coming as well, which is for getting a needle. <laughs> and uh, not looking super thrilled about it, because I have been actually going through some medical testing myself recently. And I'm um, going to be having to get some blood work soon and potentially a biopsy as well. I have some weird, like, I don't know, suspicious looking little nodule in my thyroid. They can be normal, but just in case, my doctor has recommended that I go for a biopsy. But nothing, like that procedure is not open yet in our country. So 
I'm just waiting for the call to go and when I do I will be using the Kiss My Shot one because I am not super thrilled about that <laughs> but it's necessary so um, so these I've already organized into the weeks that I'm going to be using them I also um, have kept so I kind of did a bit of pre-planning before I even got my orders. Once I placed them, I actually had like a little list. And then in my planner, you'll see. So this one, I kind of just did my own kit um, for this week. Uh, because, as again, I said, I didn't have the stickers yet from Glam Planner. So I kind of did my own spread. That was for Canada Day week and the 4th of July. I'm going to be doing some back planning for this week that we're just finishing because we're here. And as you can see, I put here Main Street Magic, and that's going to be this one. So I actually went ahead already, and I already know, in case I forgot when the kits came in, uh, kind of which kits I wanted to use which week. So this, the next week is going to be Arabian Days, and then Maidens in Mythology, um, and then it goes on. So like Thing of the Bob, hopefully if it comes in time, the new Earl kit is amazing. Uh, so basically, July is going to be my um, kind of Disney-themed month with kind of Disney-themed kits. And then in August, I'm going to be doing like more summer kits. Like we have like Miami Sunset and some little cottage kits, which are cute. And um, yeah, you will see those all right now. So what I do uh, when I'm ordering my kits is... I will usually just kind of like build my own kit. Depends on how much you want to spend, um, what your budget is. I like to get a lot of stickers, so but then my budget for the individual kits is a little smaller, um, which is okay. And so I do have a little bit of white space, but I usually will get a kit and then get like some of the extra sti stickers, blah, sorry, <laughs> as well to kind of fill it fill it out a little bit more. Um, she does have a Lux kit, which has everything. Like, it has the bottom washi. It has this, like, the extra stickers. And it's fantastic. I wish I could afford that one for, like, every single week. But I can't. So what I do is I just get the bitty kits. And those, for me, are perfect. You get four of these. Plus, if you get an extra sticker, you get another two to three. So you end up with maybe one sticker a day. And then I'll show you, it also comes with some icons. Let me take it out actually. So there's not so much glare. So it's so cute. Uh, it comes with the icons. So there's like several different icons and these are the same for every month. A bill due, a weekly tracker, some quarter boxes, some cute little adorable kind of single stickers. Um, and then you have some more boxes, flags, glitter headers, and you have seven. You can use one like with these for each day of the week. And then with your extra box, it ends up being a pretty full kit. And uh, once I do do this um, kit, I'll actually take a picture and I'll load it on Instagram. Um, or I can show you maybe in the next video how I do one of these kits and how I make it look. Um, and for me, that's enough. If you want the fuller look, then I would suggest getting a one of the bigger kits. Um, and um, I chose the Disney theme for this particular week, the first week in July, because a lot of Disney, well, for two reasons, a lot of Disney um, parks are slowly reopening uh, that week. So this is kind of to mark that special occasion. And then also... Um, we went to Disney last year, so this is also kind of a nice little memory for us because that was our first trip with the kids. And then the extra boxes that I got are these ones here. So super cute. And I also got, so I got like three extras for this one, but this is kind of a special kit to me too just because it is a memory from last year. So I'm going to use the girl with the brown hair um, and maybe the Disney donut as well because I have brown hair. And so that's going to be for this past week that just came by. Um, the next kit that I got is Arabian Days. And this is a Jasmine themed kit. And I've got Raja down here. And beautiful, like the little flamingo scene, which I love, the castle or temple. I'm not really sure what this one is called. Beautiful bed spray uh, scene, um, and then just 
the same. The, this page is always the same, just in different colors in terms of what you get. Uh, this one, I did not get the extra with this order. It's going to be coming in the next order. So for that one, that's all that I have for now. Same thing with my next one. This one is Maidens and Mythology. And this one reminds me of um, Hercules. I, it's a Disney movie, but for some reason, I don't know why Meg was never voted in to be a Disney princess. Does this bother anybody else? Because I was kind of sad. I thought, I mean, yeah, she didn't, she wasn't like the best. She tried to like, you know, scam him and, you know, to save her own life and that sort of thing. But I don't know. She's kind of put in a tough spot with Hades. So I don't know. Tough call, guys. But anyways, this um, kit reminds me of that kind of theme. And again, the girls for this are coming in my next order. Then my next kit. Okay. So, sorry guys, I just actually took a second to take all of the plastic off because I didn't think that you guys wanted me to take off the plastic from like a million kits. Um, so, the next kit after that is called Waterside. And because I got this kind of two months in advance, um, this was before she released the Thingamabob kit, which is the aerial theme kit. So, I still, this was kind of like going to be my mermaid or aerial themed kit before she released one and then that just changed my life <laughs> so I had to order that one. Um, this one I will probably either keep for next summer or maybe find another place to use it but I love this one. It has all my favorite colors blue, purple, and pink um, and it's just gorgeous. I just love this so much. If she didn't release it, the mermaid one this was definitely going to be um, the runner-up. So, and then with this one, I got so the full boxes that I got were this little star seashell and a chest, and then the Mermaid Girls, which I was going to use the red for Ariel. So that was that one. And then now we're moving into August, and the first week of August is my husband and I's uh, eight-year, I think, <laughs> eight-year wedding anniversary. Um, and we also just got a dog this year. So I thought this kit was perfect to, for that week. Um, I am also going to be getting my ring back finally. It has been gone um, for five months <laughs> during COVID. It has been held hostage at the People's in a mall close to where we live. I had actually just sent it away for like the annual, you know, cleaning and repair, and um, I sent it in. It was supposed to be gone for two weeks, and then they closed everything. And it's been five months, and they just called me, so I'm gonna be going to pick up my ring this weekend, and I am so excited that I get it in time for our anniversary. Um, our dog is not white, but I mean, still very adorable, and still kind of represents our our year and uh, the newest addition to our family. And then the extra ones, uh, we have a Burmese mountain dog, by the way, if you're, if you're curious. <laughs> some pictures of her on my Instagram. Um, then I got some these extras, some little girl flowers. And then I also got this extra as well. Now, this extra is actually from the blush edit. So it's from a different pack. But I kind of like this because it kind of reminds me of, like, you know, you're getting ready for your wedding day, that sort of thing. So... I don't know. I, I got it with the intention of using it with this kit, but I might not. I might just use these two if this is enough, but at least kind of have some wiggle room to play with here. Uh, the next kit that I got is um, Waterside. So this one is going to be for one of the weeks that we go up to our friend's cottage. Um, it's gorgeous. We love like, oh, it's like making little shish kebabs and hopefully we'll get some reading done. Usually we go up with the kids and the dogs and there's like eight of us. So it's pretty hectic, but sometimes when they go to sleep or early in the morning, I have some time to sit out on the balcony um, overlooking the lake and do some reading, which is amazing. And that's what the second page looks for that. Gorgeous. And then the extra one is this one. That was the kind of extra that went with this one. And so this is pool day. She's reading and just kind of chilling. That's that one. And then the next one that I got is <laughs> Miami Sunset. Um, my husband and I, we 
uh, like going on the boat a lot. Ours is nowhere near this fancy. <laughs> it's very modest and a lot smaller, but it is still fun. And it is enough room for us and the kids to go out. And they love it. And it has been kind of really positive and a nice way to get out during Corona, where we are social socially distancing ourselves um, because you just load your boat, get on, go in the middle of the lake, and you're not near anybody. So it's really nice to get out on the water. But I did like this kit. It's really glamorous, and it reminds me of, like, when we went to Vegas a few years ago. Um, and the extras that I got for this one was a little, like, Shirley Temple-ish type drink, which is one of my favorite drinks. Um, and then these girls sitting at the beach, kind of looking away, which I really love. And then this was the second to last week of summer. This one is called Beach Babies, and it's a more, like, relaxed vacation kit. Um, it's not a lot going on. This is I'm going to be using on one of the last weeks of the summer when we're all kind of winding down. We're probably one of our last beach trips for the season. Um, the kids are finally old enough to, like, build sandcastles, and they love it so much. So I thought that was super cute, and so are these guys here. And then uh, the extras that I got was this one, which says, Beach Please. I love that play on words. <laughs> it's usually something else, but this is a nicer way to say it. And then this little bathing suit with flowers. And again, I am a Franken planner. I do like to mix and match. This one, I think, is from the Moana kit. Uh, Paradise. I'm not sure what the name is here. I'll link it again below. And I'm going to link this up with this one um, because it has a little hammock and there was a hammock here and I liked it and it just added a little bit of color. It is a beautiful pastel kit on its own um, and I do like pastels but I just I just wanted to kind of like jazz it up a little bit with this one. Then the very last kit of the summer is kind of the week right before school. So typically that is when we are getting ready. Um, we're getting the kids' schedule. We're planning everything out for September, doing back-to-school shopping and all that fun stuff. So this is her um, Get It Done kit. And it's got the computers, the bubble mailer, um, just some planning and that sort of thing, which I thought was really fitting for that first week. There's also some little little binder here, and um, or planner, sorry, and some a kit. And then that's what that one looks like. And then the extra ones for this one, uh, I got like this one was for her university spread, but I'm going to put it in with this one because it reminds me that I'm going back to school. And then this one, can't remember the name, but um, it's like a mom one. But anyways, I'm not going to use these ones. I'm just going to use the, the top one and then kissing the son and kissing the daughter. Um, as they kind of go back to school, hopefully we'll see what happens with this COVID situation. Um, even if they go back part-time, socially distancing, and then do part-time at home, I feel like it would be better than, than not. It just, they're just, it's not good for them to be home for so long. They're really bummed and down, and they do need a little, a little socialization. It's important for their growth and, um, and that sort of thing. So, and then for my daughter, it's important. My son's going into grade two, and my daughter, um, is going into kindergarten so it's her first time going to a big a big girl school and she's excited to be going with her brother as well i do have also a little school bus coming that will be coming with my next order but it didn't come yet this is so my next video that i'm going to do don't know yet sorry if i'm going to release it on wednesday this week or next sunday I'll try my very best, but uh, it might have to be Sunday, guys, now that I'm back to work. This is going to help me organize um, my actual, I'm just trying to see how these go. I think this one goes here. My actual, um, like my binders and my portfolios and that sort of thing. So the next video is going to show you, so you guys know how I do these ones within here. But I'm going to show you how I organize my kits for the year and how I label everything, how I sort everything out, how I store them. Um, so maybe you guys can have some ideas of what you want to do. I do have some monthly kits coming as well. I just recently signed up for her monthly sub. So I'm super excited about that. I'm hoping that one's going to come for August. I just got billed uh, in advance. So it's supposed to come, I think, halfway 
halfway through this month, hopefully it should come in time for August. So obviously this is going to be for my monthly spreads. And then these are the weeks of the year. So I got these for my main folder. And uh, because the dates within these weeks change every year, and that way these are kind of going to be permanent all the time stickers. And then these I got for um, like or the little, the actual like little kits themselves to put on. So I'm gonna put these back in the baggies. Yes, I am that person, but I want to keep them, you know, just protected against from anything um, until I'm ready to use them. So I'll put them back in their baggie with the extras. Like I'll, I'll match them up, and then I will put whatever week I want to use it. So for example, like this week is going to be the August 31st to September 6th. So I'll just put it on top of the plastic. And then that's how I know for sure, like, let's say the kits fall out or my kids get to it and they want to mess around with them. I will remember which kit is which. And then again, I also have it written in my planner as well. So um, that is it for today, guys, for my Glam Planner sticker haul. I am feeling a little guilty because as soon as I turn the camera off, she actually is having a glitch sale event, which is going to be happening in about half an hour. And I am going to be going back on, even though I'm pretty set with what kits that I want, but I'm also going to look for some of my fall, my fall kits and, um, see, they're usually really good deals. Um, and I don't know if you guys remember from the last glitch, uh, glitch kit that I showed in my last um, sticker haul from her. But her, I guess, glitches, I know for them, they call them glitches because her quality control is so high and amazing. But I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find a single thing wrong. I couldn't find anything wrong with them. They're basically as good as like new kits. So I am excited to do some more shopping. <laughs> and yeah, and then after that, I'm going to try to plan my sticker organization and storage video for you guys. So you can see what I do with all of these and um, how I store them until I'm ready to use them. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, thank you for your patience this week while I was getting myself sorted. Um, now that I've had a couple days to set out a plan, I've got my videos for the summer. And I have some really fun stuff coming up for you guys. So make sure to stay tuned. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hit thumbs up if you like this video. And I will list all the kits that I got in the bottom bar below. Stay safe and stay happy and healthy, everyone. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.